This is another great film about London, nearly a century ago in 1928. We start our sightseeing tour at Trafalgar Square with Nelson's Column and the four famous lion statues, sculpted by Sir Edwin Landseer and unveiled in 1867. Here we approach Buckingham Palace from the Mall and see the Victoria Memorial, unveiled in 1911. The palace shows its renovated façade, made of Portland stone, that was completed in 1914. The entrance to Westminster Abbey, as seen from Victoria Street. The Houses of Parliament and Tower, home to the famous Big Ben Bell, near to Westminster Bridge. In 2012, the tower was redesignated as Queen Elizabeth Tower to commemorate her 60th jubilee. A glimpse of County Hall, the residence of London's council until 1986. On the north side of the Thames, on the embankment, we see Cleopatra's Needle, an Egyptian obelisk erected in 1877. This obelisk is one of a pair the second being relocated from Egypt to New York in 1881. Here we see a very busy London Bridge with rows of omnibuses. The famous monument that commemorates the Great Fire of London in 1666 that started in Pudding Lane and totally gutted the medieval city. A film about London cannot be complete without a shot of the Tower Bridge. And of course the famous Tower of London where King Henry VIII had two of his wives beheaded. Very busy traffic at Bank with the Royal Exchange. Sir Christopher Wren's architectural masterpiece, St. Paul's Cathedral, built in the 17th century after the Great Fire of London destroyed the old cathedral. St. Paul's Cathedral, seen from Fleet Street, home to Britain's many newspapers. Temple Bar, the principal ceremonial entrance to the City of London from the City of Westminster. In the 13th century, the bar was a stretch of wood between two posts to mark the border between both cities. Horse guards at Whitehall. And the cenotaph that commemorates World War I casualties, erected in 1920. Typical London bobbies. Policeman, at the time everybody's friend. Probably a chimney sweep. Horse guards passing Hyde Park Corner. Knives and scissors to grind. Women shelling peas in Covent Garden Market. Street hawkers, who we nowadays would call street traders. The 
the famous London flower sellers, all dressed with the same type of hat and nice coat, here in Piccadilly Circus. A district messenger boy, who would deliver messages all over London and beyond. Shoeshine man, at the time designated as a dying trade. Hopefully you enjoyed this restored film. Please note that the black and white original was not of the best quality.